In this training module, you'll be learning the basics of operating a steam locomotive. You'll be driving this Stania Class 8F steam locomotive. When you're ready, climb onto the footplate. Sit in the driver's position. Start by preparing the locomotive for departure. The reverser determines the direction of travel and how much steam is consumed as the locomotive moves. Set the reverser to full forward position. You will need all available power when setting off. This locomotive has a combination brake that controls both steam and vacuum brakes. Steam brakes will apply on just the locomotive. Vacuum brakes will apply to the rest of the train so long as it is equipped with vacuum brakes. The brakes are released when a vacuum is created. The driver can use the brake handle to destroy the vacuum which will start to apply the brakes. To create a vacuum, you should use the ejectors. The small ejectors should be left open when the train is running. The large ejector can be used to more quickly increase the vacuum after coupling or heavy braking. When the locomotive has been left standing, you'll want to open the cylinder cocks or remove any water. Water in the cylinders can damage the locomotive as it doesn't compress like steam. Move the combination brake to the release position and then use the large ejector as needed to get the brakes released. On an uphill start, you may want to apply a little power with the regulator first to prevent rollback. Don't forget to put the large ejector back to off when the brakes are off. The regulator acts like the throttle control for steam locomotives. It controls how much steam is delivered into the cylinders. Applying too much power too early can cause wheel slip, so increase it slowly. After a few wheel rotations, the cylinder should have been blown clear by the steam jetting out of them, so you can close the cylinder cocks to get full power in the cylinders and prevent further steam waste. This reduces the amount of steam that's into the cylinders and saves energy.